Hey guys, it's Franco. So, did you invest in or bought securities such as Zom, Sands, and Guild, and many, many more that's considered a small cap? I did. And now, I'm on deep red. I'm losing about $4,000 in both my Fidelity and my Webull account. Gosh, I... <laughs> I remembered when I wake up about 6.30 in the morning and I looked at my account. First thing in the morning, I, I wake up, looked at my account, and I, I, I cannot explain myself. I, I was really sad. My Webull account especially has primarily a lot of those are small cap companies or small market cap companies are down and I don't know what to do so why are they going down and then what are small market cap companies anyway in this video I'm gonna to explain to you all those and if you should sell or not and this is my own advice for myself and hopefully you learn from this video and like subscribe all that jizz uh, to help my small small channel all right Let's do this. There are many, many reasons why small cap investments are going down. One of the top reasons in my point of view is the economy's instability. As Jerome Powell prints out more and more dollar bills, it scares a lot of investors to invest in a very volatile investment such as this. Small market cap companies are known to be high risk, high reward stocks or securities. When the economy downturns, or becomes really really unstable in the future because of inflation these companies are first to be affected unlike their counterparts in the large cap like Amazon Tesla or Google they already have continuous revenues through the years and cash in hand just in case shit happens furthermore the hedge funds manage the hedge funds managers like BlackRock or Vanguard they took profits for the first quarter of the year and that's normal they do this every year when they invest in a company in small caps they take profits and in return the whole stock goes down in value and we get affected as retail investors another reason is look at the charge charge the chart for 3M, Johnson & Johnson, and an ETF called VOO. They are all in all-time high at the moment. Look at the one year or even five year. They're all on a very steep uptrend. Most investors and big companies like, such as what I told you before, like BlackRock and Vanguard, they put their money, their profits, if ever, to the stable companies such as this, these ones which even if there's a downtrend in the economy this will not be so much affected the, unlike its uh, small cap uh, counterparts it may be affected maybe go down in value by 10 or most 20 percent but not like 50 percent or more like what happened to sense or guilt and also, <laughs> uh, we have a, a new investment type uh, coming out, which is a cryptocurrency. Most retail investors are investing there rather than in small cap investments. And I don't blame them. But the problem is, it's overhyped. I'm, I have, don't get me wrong, I have those kind of investments, but I still have my majority 
of my money or my investment in large cap companies such as Tesla or VOO. It's just sometimes it's really overhyped and I still believe in the saying get scared when others is well majority of the people are greedy and be greedy when majority of the people are scared. So what I'm doing and with my uh, securities with my small cap uh, investments which I have videos before I buy more I buy more I buy I bought more guild and cents because I believe in those companies I did my own research and I believe in myself now don't believe me I want you to do your own research financial statements are always available from those companies it's public and you have to understand those and then it's up to you and your risk tolerance if you're gonna buy more or sell at a loss I don't sell at a loss I try not to do that because I'm just basically giving money to my brokerage account or my brokerage company and if you bought something I at least at least have cash for yourself I mean I always tell my subscribers my little followers to have money for yourself just in case like an emergency fund don't put everything in in stocks or the stock market diversify get, get some money in hand and then maybe about 40% goes to stocks and I hope you learn from this and I really hope you're doing better than me in terms of uh, buying the lows and the dips and selling them. I forgot to do stop loss on my <laughs> investments. Uh, now I'm holding a bag, a really, really big bag. But I don't care because I, like I said, I believe the companies I bought before or I'm buying. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you again. Sorry, sorry if I, I'm not consistent on my videos because I have some personal things going on, but I'll try to be. Alright.